ready to go off on that day. Yeah, you ready to go off on that day. I like this. Mm -hmm. How many people can can? You can take seven to eight people. Okay. On this. Okay. Well, all these are seven players. If there's like no 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 customer, they don't put them up there. Okay. But normally they can take seven to eight people. Next week. Next week. No, not next week. <laughs> <laughs> seven day cruise. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. Okay. <laughs> the hippo we're gonna see a hippo. I am the hippo hunter. Oh. <laughs> but we're not gonna see my, a hippo. My, my new okay. Hands. Between the, the boards, yeah. Okay. Okay. I know some places you have the hippo, like Baboon Island. Uh, yeah, you know, that in that way. Yeah. Where the fresh water is. Okay. Mm. Well, the hippo stay in the fresh water, not in the salt water. Oh, so uh. this is salt water. This is the salt water. Oh, because there's oysters. Yes. Okay, well. My new hands, you bring the boat. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Did you do? Yeah. Okay. I'll pass it back to It's a small world after mm. all. <laughs> you don't know. World, you don't right? know about that. No. That's at, in America. There's a place called Disneyland, right? Disneyland. You've heard of Disney World. Yes. Disney World. There's a ride called It's a Small World, and it's a boat like this, and you go all through there, yeah. and you see the country uh, Africa. You see Asia. They have, you know, little. Uh, what would you say? Dummies, kind of mm -hmm. like acting out, playing drums, you know. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So you go all through the world. This is nice. Okay, Maddie, now let me have your camera and then I take you all with the captions and the captain introduce themselves to you. Okay. Why is Norway start? The tour. Okay. okay, the captains know we are ready for the tour. Yeah. You can introduce yourself to yeah, Awa and Madi. Once again, you're welcome on board here. Yeah? Yeah, we have fishes like barracudas, ladyfish, red snapper, tuna, grouper, tilapia, yeah, and many more. Okay. Yeah, it's very rich in fish. Yeah. People do all night fishing. Okay. It's more common in the Gambia. Okay. Yeah, when you go for all night fishing, you come out in the morning, the ladies from the village will come to the harbor, mm -hmm. they buy the fish from the fishermen. Okay. Some will take it to the market, they resell it again. Some will take it home for home use. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because in the creek here, from the ozone, when it's coming here, high tide, the big fish from the ozone, they come to the creek to feed from the small one. Oh, okay. So when the tide is going back, the fishermen, they make their cross netting from left to right. Oh, okay. So only the small one will pass through the net, the big one, they stay. That's one right into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So all of these mangroves, all of this is oysters. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, that's oysters for the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The mangrove, they are the biggest forest in the Gambia, yeah? Mm. They grow 11,000 hectares. They cover Gambia vegetation 35%. Okay. And they are very useful for we the local. Okay. The mangrove. Wow. Because the dry sticks of the mangrove, mm -hmm. we use them for firewood. Oh. Because here, not all the local can afford the gas cookers. Ah. So Saturday, Sunday, no school in the village. The boys will come with the small dog out canoes mm -hmm. to collect the dry sticks, take them home for cooking. Okay. Because when they are dry, they easily catch fire like a local gas cookers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the same also that we see sold in the local markets. Exactly, and the hotels. Okay. The oysters, when they collect them, they put them in a half barrel. Mm -hmm. As I told you here, we don't eat them raw. Smoke. So the ladies, when they collect it, they put it in a half barrel, they steam them mm. or cook them for 20, 25 minutes. Mm. Then the cells are made. Okay. Uh, then the food is made, you know. Mm. The cells easily open. You can take the knife, collect the big food from the cell. Mm. 
and the cook we separate the big one to the hotel and the restaurant mm -hmm. for oyster omelette the small one to we the local mm -hmm. to the local market mm -hmm. yeah Very quiet and peaceful, yeah? Yes, it is. Different from the market. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Very nice. We're seeing another part of Gambia today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important for people when they come to really start exploring because you you think Gambia is just you know <laughs> just Saracunda exactly. yeah yeah but it's so much more yeah, and so much always more with the local you have a local experience you know? yeah yeah and here is to experience yeah yeah when it's high tide you can come with the boat oh but when it's low tide all here no water Oh, oh wow. wow. So when it's low tide, what we do, we park the boat at the sandbank, then we walk. Oh, wow. The water will come up to your knees. Okay. It's like kind of a foot massage, yeah? Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, these people, they live very local. Okay. No electric, no Fanta, no cola, neither beer. Oh, wow. These people, all they have for the refreshment is the palm juice. Mm. Or palm wine. Okay. The I fresh one is zero percent alcohol, good for the eyes, good uh -huh. for the stomach, good for the backbone. Uh -huh. But when it gets fermented uh -huh. for two nights, three nights, uh -huh. that one very strong. When you drink that one, you see pink elephant crying. Quack, quack, pink elephant. Is it still healthy for you now? <laughs> yeah, some of our elders, you know, this is the one they normally go for. Okay. Because we believe that. That is very good in the night. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's very good for their back bones. Okay. Yeah. Back bones. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's good to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's the small garden for the ladies to park oh. their bones. Okay. Wow. I just love this. Mm -hmm. This is the boat for the oyster. We'll come on here over there. Let it first, yeah? Let it first, Then come in your mind your head. Mind your head, Hold that 220. <laughs> 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 so here we're gonna see the biggest tree. Oh, okay. It's been living for 800 years, some say 900, and it's naturally hollow. All of us will go inside the tree. Oh, wow. It's like a tree with the house. Okay. Yeah. And this tree is an elephant tree. Oh, okay. But the real name is silk cotton. Silk, silk cotton. Silk cotton. The tree okay. be a cotton. Oh, okay. And this cotton we make pillows and cultural clothes. Oh, okay. So why we call it as an elephant tree? Later on you will see the clear image of an elephant head oh. by the sides of the tree. Okay. That's why we call it as an elephant tree. Talk about. Mm -hmm. 
paradise. Family, this is Eden. And the tree, when you look at it very carefully, they grow very wisely. Yeah? Mm. When you look by the branches, you can see the pins. Mm. Mm. Because when they are young, this is how they grow. They grow along with the pins so that to protect themselves from, from other animals, not to climb up and destroy the fruits. Mm. But the more they are getting big, they drop the pins, only the branches left with the pins. Mm. Yeah. Babe, this is a spiritual place. I got to get on my knees. I just have to. I just have to pray. Where's East? Guys, I'm just so overwhelmed at um, the beauty, what was taken from us. And seeing this place coming in, I just got so emotional that I just had to fall and just give the most high all thanks for the courage of us taking this journey and making our way back to Eden. This place surely, I mean, it truly looks and feels like Eden. And I know that we have been brought here for such a time as this. This is not a ploy um, to um, sell anything, but we do admonish you to reach out to us for this authentic experience. Um, that's all I can say. So from here, we're going to go inside the tree, yes? Okay. Yes. That's the gate here. Before we go in? Yeah. <laughs> when coming in, mind your head, yeah? Oh, that's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's in here? 
my uh he has to go first <laughs> yeah yeah if he goes first then yeah you you okay yeah i'm gonna go in now yeah, same like the boss man going okay. in yeah and the boss lady is okay. going in yeah here we go yeah to the seal cotton tree Yeah, easy. But you don't have a clue where they have been taking you for circumcision. Mm. Oh, this is circumcision here. Exactly, they used to do it. So this is a holy place. It's a holy place. So that's what I felt. Exactly, it's a holy place. Oh, this is so what our ancestors used to use. Oh my goodness, I felt the it. The elderly will be living yeah. here and then when they are bringing the kids. I haven't felt that That's since I've been enough. here. Yeah. yeah. And when I got, when we, it was just something mm -hmm. that I couldn't contain. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So this is what our ancestors used when there was nothing like a hospital or clinic, nothing absolutely. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you all. You're this welcome. is, this is priceless. Mm -hmm. it, this is priceless. Thank you. Yeah. 